It's Time Capsule Week on the Wire Rebels, but first I have to share some disturbing news that I just learned. I was at my local mall and saw a big store closing sign uh, in the windows of Borders. And today is also Brett Favre's last game against the, the Packers. So I just feel depressed. I don't, I don't know if I can be funny today. I, think I actually feel dirty. But that might be because I've been wearing the Celtics t-shirt since Wednesday's game. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. This week we're supposed to choose 10 items that best represent us to put into a time capsule. Um, and if you've been following my blog, you know that I did a blog post about this back in May. So just in case you're one of my five followers back then, I'm going to switch it up and add some new items today. Unfortunately, thanks to my recent move, a lot of my props that I would be using today are still in storage, so let's just go ahead and pretend they're already in the time capsule. Preston Knight time capsule item number one would be my guitar. Um, I got it from my grandparents as a graduation gift from high school, and for about five years of playing it, I really sucked. And now I just kind of suck. The first thing I ever learned to play on the guitar was uh, Why Georgia by John Mayer. <laughs> Item number two, and this is the first one that I don't have physically here, um, is the entire bookcase that I have devoted to R.L. Stein books. I was an uber nerd when I was eight, and I used to spend most nights up until about 2 a.m. reading um, with only the light of the television, which is probably why my eyesight sucks. I think I read How to Kill a Monster, Goosebumps number 46, about 50 times when I was a kid, because you really can't go wrong with the story about a mansion in a swamp with a monster. And I'm not sure that I would be writing if I hadn't been so completely obsessed with that series when I was a kid. He actually critiqued three chapters of my writing when I was 15, and I still have them sitting at home somewhere. So Arl Stein, if you're watching this, you are directly responsible for my writing career and my 2400 vision. Item number three is my Swiss ball. Ironically, I don't really use it too much for abs anymore, um, but it's become kind of a staple of my room. And I like to think of it as a symbol for fitness. I like to go to the gym and stay fit. Um, which is probably because I used to be an uber nerd who was 6 feet tall and 115 pounds. It's kind of like a, a bouncy ball for adults. Boy, we already have a guitar, a bookcase, and a Swiss ball in this time capsule. It's going to need to be more like a time aircraft carrier or, or a time dumpster or something. I have to throw in an item that would represent my vice, um, and that would have to be a soda can or soda bottle. I don't drink coffee, uh, so when it comes to my caffeine fix in the morning, I do turn to soft drinks, which I know is terrible, but my teeth are still white. Item number five is this shirt. Um, it only fits me right when I wear it in Miami, which is my favorite place on earth. Um, and it's good for a conversation because people argue whether it's green or black. Item number six would be pumpkin seeds. Uh, I gave my valedictory speech in high school about how if I wasn't a writer, I would want to be a pumpkin farmer instead. And people laughed at me, but I wasn't kidding. I don't actually have pumpkin seeds, so these are um, lucky charms. You can even see the marshmallow right there, but just pretend that they're pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Next up we have my copy of the Brotherhood of the Wolf DVD, Les Pâques de Loup, if you speak French, which I clearly do not. In fact, the only word I know how to say in French is grapefruit, which is pamplemousse. Brotherhood of the Wolf always reminds me of fall, which is my favorite season. I don't know why, I think I just associate it with the month of October, but... Listen, it's a French werewolf martial arts action movie that takes place in the 18th century. Just watch it if you haven't already. I'd also put in uh, my cologne. This is John Varvedos Vintage. Took a lot of cologne soul searching for me to decide, um, which basically involved three days of smelling cologne samples uh, and losing brain cells. 
I chose it because it smells like cinnamon and leather, so it has more of a um, mature smell to it to balance out the fact that I have a baby face. So 15-year-old face, 35-year-old cologne, I figure it averages out to 25. In reality, I chose it just because I want to smell like Christmas all the time. I would throw in this mask just to creep the shit out of anybody who opened the time capsule. This copy of Donkey Kong Country 3 uh, for Super Nintendo because it is my favorite procrastination tool. And for my final item, I would include a copy of Wildfire because if the people opening the time capsule didn't already think I was a twisted crazy individual from the previous nine items, they will once they read my book. Actually, if I really wanted them to know what a crazy, goofy, twisted, weird dude that I am, I would freeze myself in carbonite like Han Solo and include myself.